morning, Center of Hope family. It's your girl, Alicia Nelson, back again with your Hope News for Sunday, May 18th. The Crosswalk Movement is coming back on Sunday, May 25th in the Fellowship Hall. And believe me, you don't want to miss out. As mentioned before, Start 2 is the perfect place for you if you want to get back to the basics. Whether you've been saved for 50 years or if you're still on the fence about salvation, Start 2 dives into topics that will challenge your faith and give you hope. Start 2 will be held every Sunday at 8 and 11 and every Wednesday at noon starting this week. Call the Family Life Office at 323-757-1804, extension 218. We all know that loss is an inevitable part of life and grief is a natural part of the healing process. Dealing with a significant loss, whether it's a job, relationship, or loved one, can be one of the most difficult times in a person's life. The Loss and Grief Support Group seeks to be a source of support for you. Session two will be held on Wednesday, starting April 30th and ending June 4th. Each session is limited to a maximum of 12 participants. Free registration is required. You can call the church office for more details. Do you enjoy good food and community? Well, so do I. On Friday, May 30th, the Men and Women's Convergence Group will be hosting a Fish and Fellowship Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. For dining guests, there will be a music gospel video showing of Marvin Sapp in concert. Meal tickets will be available for purchase. Sign-ups will be held Sunday, May 25th. Hope to see you there. Also on Sunday, May 25th, during the hour, from 9.45 to 10.45, Ms. Cheryl Davis, a nutrition educator, will give a presentation on healthy eating and lifestyle habits. Don't forget to meet us in the Fellowship Hall. Attention all job seekers, our Family Resource Connection will be having a resume writing workshop Saturday, June 14th from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Come out and learn how to improve your resume writing techniques, interview role play, and gain the necessary tips to land yourself a job interview. Come one, come all. Calling all volunteers of the First Church of God Center of Hope, we invite you to a celebration that is specifically for you. Volunteer Appreciation Day will be held on Saturday, May 31st in the courtyard. Festivities are from 2 to 5 p.m. and we want you there. Please contact the church office with any questions. Are you graduating from high school, trade school, or college university? Well, Center of Hope is honoring our graduates and will present scholarships at the 11 a.m. service on Sunday, June 22nd. Please stop by one of our guest services tables for a sign-up form. And remember, all forms must be turned in by next Sunday. Please see Sister Joynelle Dixon for more information. Come out to the courtyard immediately following the 8 a.m. service for some Daniel Plan fun. This week is all about focus. Let us show you some fun ways to boost your brain, commit scriptures to memory, and further enhance your mind, body, and soul. Are you a visitor? Do you want more information about Center of Hope? Do you want to connect better with the Center of Hope? Well, fill out the connection card located in the giving boxes around campus. Center of Hope, we ask that you keep in prayer the following families during their bereavement season. Myra Lawrence lost her niece, Jasmine Poole. Center of Hope members, Rudy and Sandra Melson. Sandra recently lost her mother. Again, family, please, let's keep these families uplifted in prayer as they navigate through this difficult season. Please don't forget to check your bulletin for these and other special announcements. You can also get up-to-date Hope News by visiting us on the web at www.gotohope.com and follow us on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's all for today for this edition of Hope News. I'm your girl, Alicia Nelson, signing out. Attention all dads. This year at the Center of Hope, we are recognizing our fathers like never before. Come and join us Sunday, June 11th for worship at 8 and 11 a.m. You don't want to miss out.